Your corals don't really care if you're busy. If your water chemistry is off, they will definitely let you know. And it's usually the hard way, but if you observe your tank, you'll definitely know that something is up. But what if your reef tank could test itself 24 seven while you just sit back and enjoy the view? Well, that's exactly what Reef Kinetics ReefBot Lab does. And in today's video, I'm giving you five reasons why I think the ReefBot Lab could be your reef tank's new best friend. Now it's been a little over a year since I've unboxed the ReefBot Lab and I made a video all about unboxing it and setting it up and I showed you how to get that started and how easy and simple it was to set up the ReefBot Lab. So if you haven't seen that video, I'll leave a link down in the description below. But today's video is all about five reasons why the ReefBot Lab is a great fit for your reef tank and is frankly gonna be your reef tank's new best friend. So let's jump right into it and we're gonna start with reason number one and that's consistency. Now, a lot of times when we are manually testing our aquarium with the titration te test kits or using the syringe to drip um, the reagent into the test vials. A lot of times we can forget how many drops we put in. Um, is the measurement of the liquid in the vial at the right point? So it takes out some of the human error, gives you a little bit more reliable, more accurate data. Reason number two is that the ReefBot Lab saves you time. And I've definitely noticed this in my own testing schedules and my testing routine is that I would pull out calcium, magnesium, alkalinity, nitrate, phosphate, and sometimes I'd manually test for pH even though I have a probe. So I'm testing six tests um, all at once and that can take some time. I mean, 20, 30 minutes, uh, depending on what test parameters you're running. Um, it can take some time and a lot of times, I know for me, I can be extremely busy so I don't always have the time to pull out the test kits myself and run a manual check. Um, just things get super busy. Even if you're only testing one time a week, that's six tests that you're carving out time for, a lot of time life gets in the way and you may not be able to do that. Some people test multiple times a week, but with the ReefBot, you just load in your reagents, you tell it what test you want to run. You can actually schedule it, which is one of my favorite parts is scheduling your test. So you can run that uh, once a week, twice a week. You can do it monthly. Uh, you can run that test whenever you need it to be done. So it's on a schedule and it always does it. And running tests that way with the ReefBot Lab, it allows you to enjoy your tank a lot more because you're not wasting time manually checking. Now, can you definitely do both? Yes, absolutely. I will still sometimes manually check a certain parameter if I need to. Um, and then run multiple tests at a time with the ReefBot Lab. But that brings us to reason number three, and this is probably my favorite thing about the ReefBot Lab, is remote monitoring. You can monitor your reef tank from anywhere in the world that you're, any location. You could be on vacation, you can check in on your tank and you can run a test, and that has been really beneficial for me, going on family vacations, I, I get, Worried about the tank, how's the tank doing? Did the tank sitter feed too much food? Are any corals dying? So running tests, you can check on the water chemistry while you're away. The ReefBot Lab connects to your smartphone and your computer. So whether you're at work or on vacation, you can definitely schedule tests, log a test, check your tests, uh, your tank's parameters from anywhere and even check on your results um, remotely. All right, I know I just said that reason number three was my favorite, but actually reason number four is probably my absolute favorite thing about the ReefBot Lab is that it works with multiple brand test kits. You're not locked into one ecosystem of reagents. You're not locked into one brand of reagents. So if you use Salifer and that is your favorite brand, um, the ReefBot Lab runs Salifer. It runs alkalinity, it runs magnesium, it runs the uh, Salifert pH, um, and it also runs API. So if you uh, are on a budget and you are running API test, um, it runs a lot of API test kit. It runs calcium, alkalinity, phosphate, ammonia, nitrate, uh, pH, high range, pH, wide range. It runs pretty much all the API. It runs Fauna Marin, uh, Tropic Marin, Geisman, it runs Elos, it runs Red Sea. 
it runs Colombo, it runs a wide variety of test kits that you can use with the ReefBot Lab. So you're not stuck to just three or four reagents and you can test phosphate all in the same device. You don't need a separate machine to run phosphate. And the results, you might be wondering, well, how does the results uh, with these different test kits? Well, they're as good as the test kits are. So if you are testing and liking the results or you're okay with the results that you get from Salifert, you're gonna get the same results using the ReefBot Lab because of the consistency that it does um, knowing what the test is and it's super easy to program a test all right so that brings us to reason number five and reason number five is more stability and better results with the refought lab you are running consistent tests that you can put on a schedule and you're running tests more often so you can see trends that actually get put onto a graph within the refought lab so you can see it plots the results for you within your ReefBot Lab app. And as we all know, the more stable of parameters you have, the healthier reef aquarium and aquarium environment in general that you're gonna have. So those are five reasons why the ReefBot Lab is great for your reef tank. Now, it depends on what size reef aquarium that you have, right? You can get a ReefBot Lab for any tank that you have, but it is an investment like anything in this hobby. And I do have a discount code if you want to use that to save $50 off of your purchase. You can use the code the Coral Reef Talk, and that will be linked up in the description as well. But as with anything, it is an investment. So, how do I use my ReefBot Lab? So, like I said earlier, I do a, a mix. Sometimes I manually test, and that's if I have the time to do that. Otherwise, I'm running it on the ReefBot Lab. And I will be honest with you, there's been times that I haven't run any testing at all on the tank and just uh, went off of observations. But testing is definitely the way to go if you're looking for a more stable reef tank and knowing what's going on with your water because without testing your alkalinity, calcium, your magnesium, nitrates, and all of that, you're not gonna know how your tank's doing. So setting it up with a ReefBot Lab is great to have, especially if you travel a lot, if you have a larger system, if you um, go on vacation quite often, or you're just way too busy. Setting up your test in a ReefBot Lab, one, it's super easy to do. Uh, you just click in the app what test you're loading in, how many milliliters are, are you loading. They have the 60 milliliter vials now, that, those are great. Um, you load those in and a little secret that I love about the ReefBot Lab that um, I don't believe the very first version had but this one does is you can schedule stirring automatic stirring and you can put that on a schedule and so that at a certain time of every day uh, mine is scheduled at 5 o'clock p.m. every day it goes around and it stirs the nitrate and keeps that reagent stirred up and fresh so it's not just sitting there so that's my thoughts on the ReefBot lab if you've enjoyed this video then i know you're gonna like this video right here go ahead click or tap your screen to watch that thank you so much for subscribing and i will see you in the next one